Hi there, for this video, we'll be solving another problem that involves algebra. And this one is quite similar to another previous video that we did a while ago. So for this problem, we are tasked to find the exact value of 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 2 over 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 2 over 1 plus and so on. So it's quite confusing, especially when you look at the fraction since it's very complex. But let's try to solve it part by part. So first, we let this whole expression out here to be equal to x. So then we will have x is equal to 1 plus 2 over 1 plus 2 over x. So the reason that this part out here is x is because observe that at this part the sequence or the pattern repeats. So that is what we let x as well. And from here, it's actually quite more simple now to solve this one. So the first thing that I would do is I would convert this one into a single fraction. So then this one is equal to x equals 1 plus 2 all over um, x plus 2 all over x since this part out here will be equal to x over x and then the denominator here would simply go up so wait my mistake this this one out here should be 1 yep this one should be 1 as seen in the problem And so, uh, this one is equal to x equals 1 plus x over x plus 2. So what I basically did is I moved the x in the denominator up since that's how division of fraction works. And then, what I would do next is I would move, I would multiply x plus 2 both sides and this equation. So this one would become x times x plus 2 equals x plus 2 plus x since the denominator out here would cancel out. And then simplifying this would give us x squared plus 2x equals uh, 2x plus 2. And then uh, subtracting 2x both sides would give us x squared equals 2. Getting the square root of this one would give us x is equal to positive negative square root of 2. So we have two possible answers initially for this one. But the problem is, note that the given this one out here, the x is positive. Since 1 is positive and this whole fraction is just all addition and uh, addition and division of um, positive numbers, then the whole outcome must be positive. That means that x cannot be equal to negative square root of 2. And so the only answer that we will take for this one is actually x equal square root of 2. And that is the answer for this problem. 
So that is how we solve this one. The first thing to note to notice is that the part out here, mm, out here, is not just x. We can't just put x out here, since the part of the pattern that where it repeats is out here. That's why there is 1 plus 2 over x out here. So that is one thing to take note. And then the rest is just quadratic equation. But you need to take note here in the last part that the only case that we will take is the positive case. Since this the expression given cannot be negative. And so that's basically it. And that is all for this video.